and welcome. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the Movie Picks Guides to Sony Movie Studio Platinum and DVD Architect Studio. And here we are in Movie Studio Platinum. Now here in our timeline, we've created a basic movie. We've assembled some clips. We've done some trimming to them and some slicing. And we've even added some crossfades to them. But we want to take it to the next level here. And we're going to do that with video and audio effects. Now there are a number of ways to apply effects in Movie Studio Platinum. You can apply an effect to a clip before it's added to the timeline. You can apply an effect to an event on the timeline. You can apply an effect to an entire track or to your entire movie at once. I'll show you how to do each of those things here. So for instance, if we've got this clip here of this car and I've got it selected, the original clip selected in Project Media. If I right click on it, I can select Media Effects and I can apply an effect to the original media file. In other words, if I were to select Safe Sony Film Effects and add it, and I were to make this look like a 1908 movie, it's now pre-applied to this clip. And anytime I use this media clip, at any point in my movie, you can see we've used it here at one point in my movie, at any point in my movie, it's going to have the effect pre-applied to it. You see this a lot of times used when you're correcting something, say correcting colors or adding the stabilizer effect. You can pre-apply the stabilizer to a clip in your project media panel and every time you use it in your movie it will already be pre-stabilized. I'm going to uh, click on this to remove that particular effect from my media file. The second way to apply an effect to a clip is to apply it as an event on your timeline. This is probably the most common way you're going to do it. Select the clip or event on your timeline and open the plugin chooser which is where all of your effects are stored either by clicking this button here and we'll take a closer look at that in just a moment. Another way to apply an effect is to apply it to an entire track at once. You can do that by clicking on the track effects button and this will apply whatever effect you apply, old movie style effect, uh, a tint, whatever you apply, it's going to apply it across the board to the entire video or the entire audio track at once. And finally, up here in the master bus and in the preview window are options for applying it to your entire movie at once. So you are done editing your movie and you want to make the entire movie look like an old silent movie. You can apply a video effect here in the preview window and have that effect, old film effect for instance, apply overall to the entire movie at once. Now the most common way you're going to be adding effects is directly to an event on your timeline. You can do it either by clicking on the effects button right there on the event itself or you can simply select the event and go down to the toolbar at the bottom and click the add effects button at the bottom of the screen. Another way to add video effects is to do it a little more intuitively and that is by using the effects that are templates or presets that are in the video effects panel. You can get to that by going to this tabbed interface up here in the upper left select video effects. I'm just going to widen this out a bit and you can see you have a number of video effects here and when you choose one you see that you have a number of presets kind of previewed here in the panel to the right. So if I were for instance going to apply a newsprint look I kind of get an idea of how that effect is going to affect my video by looking at the previews here that appear in the preset panel. They are exactly the same effects and exactly the same presets you'd get if you applied a plugin directly to an event on your timeline. So for instance, if I were to select this clip down here or this event on my timeline and I were to click on the event effects chooser or the plugin chooser, it opens up a screen here and these plugins that are listed here, these effects are exactly the same as the effects that are listed in your video effects window. So it's whatever you feel more comfortable with. That's how you can apply the effect. And say for instance if I were to apply the film effects, I like to use it because it's something you can immediately see the results of. We'll add it to the plugin chain. Click OK. And it takes us to a video effects or an audio effects option panel. And here we can select options. For instance, I can increase the grain. You can see it previewing there in the preview window because my playhead sits over that event on my timeline. You can see how it's affecting it. Or, and this is what I most often do, you can select right from the preset menu. These presets, by the way, are identical 
to the presets you'll see over here in the preset window. So for instance, if I were to select the film effects, you'll see that my options here in the preset window are identical to the options I'll see if I go to the preset drop down menu that's here on my panel. A very important thing that is kind of unique to the Sony products is that there is no OK or apply button on the video effect or the audio effects option panel. Any changes you make are going to happen in real time. In other words, you see that I've changed to low quality film. If I were to change it to circa 1908, it happens immediately. I don't have a preview button on here. I don't have an apply button. I can leave this window open. I can move it over to my second monitor if I want. I can just stick it down in the lower part of my screen. Doesn't matter whether this window stays open or not. The customization you do to the effect is immediate and in real time immediately without you having to click on an apply or an OK button. That's something kind of unique to Sony products. And so again, whether or not you close this window or not is up to you. I always just close it to get it out of the way. And that's basically how you apply an effect. Uh, you can do the same thing with audio as well as video. And I'm going to click on the plugin chooser here for audio. And you can see I have a number of effects in my book. I go through each one of these effects and I explain basically what each one does. Some of these are for correcting your audio, just as some of the effects in video are for correcting your video, and some of these are for adding kind of a weird or strange or surreal effect. Now, in our next tutorial, we're going to take a look at keyframing. Keyframing is a great high level tool here for applying your effects and creating high level animations and effects. We'll look at those in part six of our eight part series, Basic Training with Sony Movie Studio Platinum. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you again real soon.